UCAS has reported that more students are applying to arts and design universities. With University of the Arts being a hub for creatives, we have asked students on the brink of the industry what sparks your creativity. My creative practice is PR, uh, public relations. What sparks my creativity is basically everything around me. Like people you see on the street, or like galleries, art, um, or just even social media. Just seeing what other people are doing and their daily lives can really inspire and, and make you think about what you can do with that. I'm not able to shut off my creative part. I think it's just constant. I think we're humans and we think. In today's society, you get impressions from everywhere, so I think it's hard to, to be able to just shut that off. Having to always try to be creative and think of something new um, with everything that's going on. And you know, in PR, people are doing campaigns of the weirdest stuff, <laughs> and you just have to think of some ways to be better than that and to be more innovative because it's so competitive. I am a hair and makeup artist, specifically makeup. What sparks my creativity? So there are a variety of things. I think maybe one of the more interesting things that sparks it is texture. Um, for example, Paddington Station, they have some really interesting pipe work. And whenever I go past there, I think, oh, I really should create a look about the pipes from Paddington. And it's really random. Also, art that other people have done and literature, I love creating a look that's based around a narrative because I think it gives it more meaning and people can get more from it. I'm not able to shut off the creative part of my brain so I think it can be a bit tiring to have your imagination going constantly. I used to drive my parents a bit insane when I was a kid because I was always <laughs> talking about something or making something up, some story. But I think it's quite useful now because I find I can come up with creative concepts quite quickly which is obviously essential to my job. And it's also, it's fun to think creatively. I think you see the world in a different way, um, a more emotionally linked way, which is really lovely. The most difficult thing about creativity being linked to what I do so closely is that everything I put out is extremely personal. It's something that my mind came up with and I've invested emotional time and effort into it. And there's a chance that somebody else won't like it or critique it and feels sometimes like quite a personal thing and I have to kind of redirect my emotions to be like, no, they're just trying to be helpful. But I think that's the hardest part is being vulnerable through your artwork. My creative practice is, well, I want to call myself a, a multidisciplinary artist, uh, but I started off as a stylist. After that, I did a degree in fashion styling and production, uh, but I really like creative direction, filmmaking, and art direction as well. What sparks my creativity is that I really like to tell stories, beautiful narratives, through moving image, through still image, and I think that's the most beautiful part of being a creative, educate people in a fun and creative way and uh, really let them know that there are not only stereotypes uh, that exist in the creative industry, that everyone has their own little creative fun box and not everyone fits in one box. What sparks your creativity?